Who in the world is Millard Fillmore? Well, Millard Fillmore, 1800 to 1874, was the 13th president of the United States. He served from 1850 until 1853 and is remembered for his support of the Compromise of 1850, which sought to keep the Union together by admitting California to the Union as a free state and passing the Fugitive Slave Act. Fillmore was born in the Finger Lakes region of New York. He attended local schools and read law in a local attorney's office. He was admitted to the bar in 1823 and opened a law practice in East Aurora, New York. Fillmore served in the New York State Assembly from 1829 to 1831. From 1833 to 1835, he was a member of the U.S. House of Representatives. In 1836, he was elected to the U.S. Senate and served as vice president under U.S. President Zachary Taylor from 1849 to 1850. Fillmore was a member of the Whig Party. He was known for his support of the Compromise of 1850, which was a package of five separate bills passed in order to keep the Union together. This included the admission of California as a free state, the Fugitive Slave Act, which required fugitive slaves to be returned to their owners, and the organization of Utah and New Mexico as territories, without explicitly mentioning slavery. Fillmore's legacy is mixed. He's credited with helping to preserve the Union, but's also criticized for supporting the Fugitive Slave Act, which was seen by many as a betrayal of African Americans. His legacy is also defined by his failure to secure the Whig Party's nomination for a second term. After leaving office, he returned to Buffalo and resumed his law practice. He died in 1874 in Buffalo, New York.